Oh, Apex Legends in the year 2024. Um, what is it going to look like? Are we going to still be playing? Will the player count go up? Will the player count continue to go down? Will the devs make changes? Will the devs not make changes? Will they just keep throwing skins at us? Or will they just, you know, finally get their head out of their asses? Um, I'm just going to kind of speak freely in this video. I have literally nothing planned. I have no strategic guidelines or any sort of script I'm going to read. Um, Apex is just in a weird spot. If anyone's been around on the channel long enough now, I've been playing Apex since day one. I've covered videos. I've covered news. I've covered a lot of settings, updates, everything regarding Apex in these last three or four years. That's what I've been dedicating this channel to. And I'm at the point where, as you've probably noticed, there hasn't been a lot of posts lately. Um, I kind of got sick of just doing settings videos because I, I don't want to just be the controller settings guy. Uh, I stopped doing news and updates because those sort of videos at the end of the day, although got views, didn't keep people really around. And it was kind of kind of got frowned upon uh, just in the scene in general of people leaking stuff early. And again, just kind of wanted to separate myself from that. So what have I been doing? I mean, I've been playing Apex a lot. A lot of people still do. The player count isn't as high as it used to be, and it's pretty understandable. There's a lot of new games that just came out. Obviously, uh, people dipping back into Call of Duty, the new Warzone, games like the finals. People are just moving away to other games, and uh, that's completely okay. But what doesn't sit right with me is just the state of Apex from playing day one since I have into really where it's kind of going. So that's why I'm just going to speak freely and uh, just throw some clips on over the years of just just gameplay. I don't really know. So the state of Apex isn't in the best state. Um, let's just first talk about ranked and like ALGS stuff, I guess. Um, if you don't really follow the competitive side of Apex, this might not really spark your, your interest that much. But a lot of the top tier orgs in Apex Legends have left the scene. Teams like 100 Thieves, uh, teams like, I think like FaZe Clan's dipping out. There's, there's a lot of the top tier orgs that are just leaving the scene completely. And that's a huge loss of just viewership in that aspect. ALGS as a whole is pretty good still, but the fact that a lot of these teams are leaving and they're not getting the funding to keep the teams around is a general reason why people are leaving for that aspect. As far as ranked play, I used to love playing ranked in Apex. I used to say that Apex had the best rank system out of any game out there, and now that's just not the case. They've drastically changed the way the rank system has worked. i Pretty sure almost every split or every season, they change the rules and it gets worse every time. I think around season 12 or 13 is when the, I think they really nailed down the rank system based off of making it seem like teams just can't push you. you you're not forced to just run people down to get points. You actually had to play smart. And if you didn't play smart, it would actually really affect in your rank level because of the entry costs. Now all ranked really is, is you just play the game and you'll rank up. There's really not a whole lot of skill. I mean, there is skill in rank, don't get me wrong, but the way it's played now, like people can just sit in zone and farm to get to masters and in prep. Like if in, even if you're like a diamond level, you're still getting gold and silver players as your teammates. I remember one game I was, this was maybe, I haven't played in many splits, I think like three or four splits ago when they first introduced uh, where you had to play like five or ten matches of placements. I had someone in my placement game who, and I was in diamond. Like that just shouldn't be a thing. The rank system is a complete mess and the rank system itself is what majority of viewers are going to be watching when it comes to YouTube or streams in general. If you don't have a good rank system and a good competitive system, the casual player base in only in this game specifically aren't going to last around for too much more longer. 
the matchmaking itself is just completely broken um i would say in another reason why i don't play ranked because there's no incentive what am i gonna get a dive trail an icon like i don't care about that stuff at this point the game's four years old and my public matches are harder than my ranked matches anyways. So what's the real point of me even playing ranked when I have more of a challenge playing against three stacks in public matches? Like speaking of public matches in the matchmaking system. Yeah, I truly do believe that my matches in publics are more are tougher than ranked. And that's an issue. Unranked games in any game, not just Apex, in my opinion, when it comes to skill based matchmaking, it should never reach the heights that it is in games like Apex. Sometimes it takes me like three to four minutes just to find a game when the system is trying to put me in one of the higher tiered MMR rankings. Because if you didn't know, Apex, when it comes to matchmaking you it doesn't connect you based off of your network it connects you based off of your account level and it based off your account mmr which is a hidden it's basically just a hidden system that takes into consideration your kd your score just everything that you do in the game they don't tell you that but that's how they actually incorporate it into the matchmaking system making it so your public games can even be harder than your ranked games which is what i was saying and to me, those kind of matches, like if I want to play a ranked game or a hard game, that's what ranked is for. You used to have so much fun in Apex where you could join just regular games. I'm not saying, let me make this clear. I'm not saying I want to join every public game and just get 15 to 20 kills. That's not what I'm saying. But what I don't want is to face three stack pred teams that are in my pubs every single game and the whole lobby is filled with them. I rarely come across players in Apex now that are like lower level or just not anywhere near as decent, I guess, that I am at the game. So that's another point. The matchmaking system to me is just a joke and they seem to just not really care too much to wanting to fix it. There's a huge lack of content in my opinion. Um, just because they add one LTM every month isn't enough content to keep this game alive. You see Fortnite, you even see Call of Duty and stuff adding multiple different playlists weekly. And, and it's not recycled content most of the time. Like, it's just, it's just boring. You can only play the same game mode. And then, sure, they added in mixtape. But the skill-based matchmaking in mixtape is on fucking steroids as it is too. So that game list is just unplayable as well. The maps are, I mean, I'm not going to complain about the maps, even though I don't like Broken Moon. You're going to not have perfect maps every time you jump into a battle royale. That's just the case. So I'm not going to say too much about that. Sure, they're adding legends here and there. They're add. I don't remember the last time they added a weapon, to completely honest. But like, I just feel like they're lacking in their content and they're just more concerned with throwing cosmetics at us and the cosmetics are just reskins half the time barely anything new and it's just getting very 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 hard to continue to support this game into the future so i guess that's where i leave off here with me what am i going to be doing am i going to keep posting apex will i keep playing apex yep yeah, probably if you want to see that those games, that content, I'm always streaming on TikTok and I'm always streaming on Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash erock. And my TikTok is erockyt, I think. Um, but that's besides the point. As far as long form videos and everything on this channel, I really don't know what I'm going to do. And there might be a grace period where I just kind of find out what I want to do. So that's just what this whole video is about. My future with Apex, my thoughts about Apex. I truly do still love the game and that's why I continue to play it each and every day. But as far as continuing to make content around it, I just don't have the drive to keep making long form content on a game on a team that just doesn't seem to care all that much. And I don't know, that's just me and that's just my current thoughts on everything right now. So if you've made it to this part of the video, I appreciate you very much. Let me know your thoughts. 
comments, concerns about Apex, about anything, really. And uh, I'm not going to stretch things out anymore. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see whoever's here in the next one.